visions of you when my mind keep a playing Thought you were dreaming from the start what you saying Thought you were dreaming from the start what you're Just cross your mind, is it likely? Yeah. You said you really love me, yeah. Don't want nobody else on my you see, yeah. Held you down and gave you everything you needed, yeah. So can you tell me why you're not here with me, yeah? Uh -huh. Gave you all my heart, no fuss. Turn around and broke it up, no trust. Don't know what to think, I've lost my love. Losing all my senses, I had enough. No, no, no. Guess I gotta move. Hey everybody, how's it going? Steve Byrne here, aka Pop and Fresh 87. That's what I go by on Twitch and my Xbox, to be fair. Yeah, and Xbox. Yeah. And if you go, so I go for Xbox, Twitch, and I think that's it. There might be another one. Who cares? Right? Who cares? <laughs> anyway. How are you all doing, guys? Ladies and gentlemen. We're back. And uh, we've managed to get ourselves to January now. Um, obviously, we had a bit of a bit of a gap, so I kind of played it offline because I didn't want to just sit here for a month and not play a game on the stream. So the last game was Hoffman, which we lost 3-0. They were second in the league, so yeah, is what it is, I guess. <laughs> kind of too expected. And... Um, We've got Hanover next, and they're a team that got promoted with us. They were champions. Beat us through it. And um, we're hoping to get some points off these guys. Yeah. We don't like Hanover. Because they beat us to the title. Yeah. Bruises and beers. How you doing, mate? How's it going? I see uh, you were streaming 20 minutes or so ago. I was going to see if I could pop in in time, but I was trying to sort this out. I've got a green screen behind me to, you know, have it like the sequel effect. No background. I didn't really get time to any of me, but yeah, how'd it go? Actually, in fact, I think I saw you had about like nine, nine views in there at one point, dude. Which is very nice. Oh yeah, Dan. I've managed to get someone coming into us next year for a free. Matteo Guendouzi. 
his contract right now at Arsenal and um, obviously he's not fully scouted by us but I played with him before on an Arsenal save so I already know what he's like and uh, <laughs> excuse me yeah we managed to pick him up on a freebie so pretty good good thanks mate yeah quick 60 minute stream was immense seven average viewers so it was a great one it was also very cutscene type stream so a bit slow wicked seven views though that's pretty good Yeah, cheers, dude. It's, it's a pain in the butt setting it all up, <laughs> really. Oh, it's, well, you can't see it, but <laughs> it's, it comes with like a tripod, and then you pop a sheet of green on the top, and it, like, it slides along almost like a curtain, and you put pegs on to clip it at the tops. Um, yeah, bought that. Actually, I've had it about three weeks to a month, but I've not used it on every stream because it's just a faff setting it up, so I just thought make an effort tonight as it's a Friday. Why not? And got a beer. Not the Yamba Nectar this time though. It's the old bud. <laughs> That's wicked though. Seven views, right? Seven average viewers. That's really good. Oh well, mate. That's really good. All right, let's let's get cracking. So yeah, we've got our first match is Hanover. Another team that got promoted. Nice, what happens if you wear a green t-shirt? <laughs> Honestly, if you wear a green t-shirt, it would just be my head and my skin on my arms. <laughs> I'll do that one day, actually. Yeah, it would literally just be this, like from my neck, and you might see the chair, but it would just look like my head's attached to the chair. And yeah, just the whites of my arms, but <laughs> I'm gonna wear a green shirt one day. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Have I got anything green here? Um, it's probably works. a Vix jar. It doesn't work properly. Mm, it's kind of fuzzy in it, but that's not the right shade of green. I don't think I've got much, <laughs> much in this green. What about this Jack Daniels bowl? It's kind of doing something because this is that's actually greens, but it kind of looks blackish, doesn't it? Yeah, it should be green, but it's got like a black tint to it because I think it's trying to rub it out, but it's not It's not the right type of green. You have to click on a certain type of key colour that you want. And then that obviously picks up that particular shade of green, you know. I see, green stripes would be strange. I think it's got to be light green, kind of, yeah. You can, you can set it up to be different colours, but you can only choose one colour, if that makes sense. If I had a blue sheet behind me, you could make it get rid of blue but then if I did I've got blue on my beanie so that might stop fizzing out sort of thing so green's a safe colour I don't wear a lot of green <laughs> should do supporting the almighty Ashford nuts and bolts yeah do you get any new people in your stream I know you, you said you've been getting um, a few regulars come in which is really awesome dude Let's see how we're going to get on with this first game. <laughs> yep, yeah, we've got the Gigan Press. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't want to be defensive. I'm going to be balanced. Oh, Shushak's out. International duty. Uh, old Jackie Walsh. Do you hear about old Jack Walsh? He's uh, gone to Bournemouth, isn't he, on a short-term deal? Nah, I never really get new ones, mate, which is a bit worrying. But... I get my usual crew, which is very nice. I mean, slowly, at a time, I mean, we've only been doing it, you know, less than a month, so over time, you know, we should hopefully pick up more people, new people and stuff. Never have heard that. Yeah, he's just, I think it's still the end of the season. Yeah, he's uh, linked up with the uh, Bournemouth team again. And obviously, uh, we uh, signed our uh, Matt Ryan today uh, on loan, didn't we? The old Brighton goalie. It's a weird. Well, it's not weird because we did need another goalkeeper, but just come out in blue, really, that one. And it looks like uh, we're getting. Well, could be getting uh, Odengard from Real Madrid. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's play a game. 
like I said, this is a team that come up with us, so fingers crossed. We've, we've got enough about us to get a win. Hanover, I'm beating him three matches though. Fingers crossed. Coming in Hamburg. Let's do this. Uh, I've been very impressed by how it's going. So I've had to put in the work to be fair off stream. Yeah, Ryan. Oh, I love Odegaard. Oh, I, oh yeah, I did on FIFA last season. Exhaustive. Yeah, he turns out to be really good on that, doesn't he? Here we go, then. Are we on the attack? I think we may be. Go on, Schmidt. Put it in. Rizzo Kittel. Get in. 1-0. It's exactly a good start we need. Like I said... Got a vendetta against these for pipping us to the title last year in the Bundesliga too. I'm gonna to have to apologise now, Dan. I haven't got the emo play playlist playing at the moment, but I might pop it on shortly. I've just clicked on a random pop station, <laughs> just see what it sounds like. But I might pop on the old emo station soon. Now they're on the attack by the looks of things. Go on, the bold. Ooh, good tackle. Get rid of it, Anana. That's the lad. Go on. Vasiliados. Out of Smith. Go on, that's it. Pull it back. Ooh, close. <laughs> Careful, Vasiliados. You are poked. I thought he was going to get himself sent off then. Oh, it's a good ball over the top. I so. Go on, Sam. Oh, get in. <laughs> He's a little wonder kid that we bought. They're supposed to um, have a lot of potential. Have you noticed how the sounds are so loud in the Call of Duty streams? Nah, it's okay, dude. I would say this one is a bit on the louder side. Oh, is it? Nah, it's good to know because I don't want it being too loud. What's it on? Yeah, it's on about... 15, I'll bring it down to eight. Lovely. Yeah, I think a lot of people though, they f they don't think about lowering the gameplay uh, sound, and then you end up just getting over, well, making too much noise on the game, and you can't even hear the person. I've had that on a countless few streams watch that I've watched. They're playing a game, they, they are chatting away back to you, you know, being friendly and chatty, but you just can't hear what they're saying because the game just outweighs their voice. Okay, that's it. Let's get to half time with clean sheet. Oh, that was a poor throw. <laughs> Straight to their defender. Nana, go on. Oh, Saliba. Go on, Smith, put it for you. Oh. Don't know if that was a shot off across, but anyway, they still got possession. Mayna. Gilmore, always oh, good tackle. Oh, that was a shot, and that was terrible. <laughs> Turned Code Bane sound effects down today a bit. The sword connects were quite loud. You can do that from the Twitch dashboard, can't you? On the Xbox. And like you, like you say, most people are there to have a chat, I think, really. I don't think they really want to hear what's going on in the game. Overly. I think with this game, I'll put music on because it's, you know, there's no sound to the game. So that's, if I go quiet for like 30 seconds or whatever, at least there's something in the background to keep chat listening to, if that makes sense. Oh, get in, Yatta, 3-0. This is going well, this match. But, uh, yeah, if I was playing another game, aka Call of Duty, which I wouldn't, not on a stream, um, yeah, I wouldn't put music on, obviously. Wouldn't be no need, really. Oh, we're doing all right. I'm going to actually go defensive now, because we've got a 3-0 lead. They've had 15 shots and had seven on target. We've had five shots before on target, and three that have gone in. Oh, they pulled one sh straight back. I'm going to go a bit defensive here. 
tell you what, actually, we're going to make a little bit of a tactical change. We're going to bring Mendes off, and we're going to have a DM there. And Ben Pierce going to play there. And I'm getting a bit worried about Vasiliados on the booking. So old uh, Sick Note can come on. And shall I bring off Leobold? Yeah. Actually, is Van Jongelen good at left back? I just did it in the game sound menu. Oh, yeah, that's cool. But I do have my game sounds at 20 and mic at 100 on the Twitch app. Yeah, yeah, it'd be boring without the music on this one, I think. Um, shall I play him at left back or. Van, Van, I think Wagner, and he's more used to it. I actually do have an, another new player, actually, Dan Juma. Um, I've just signed. Actually, I might give him his debut. No, I'll tell you what, I'll keep him off. Because we're not looking for more goals. And he's obviously um, an attacking midfielder. I just want to stay flat and defensive. And hopefully prevent them from getting any more attacks, really. Let's see how that goes. Was your stream just an impulse one today? Or did you plan it, think, I'm going to do one today? Or did you just sit there and go, yeah, fuck it, I'm doing a stream. Come on in. 12 minutes to go. Oh. They've got a corner. Oh no. Nianzu. What would uh, Fergie say? Squeaky bum time. We've got six minutes to go. Come on, no more highlights. Just. Alright, oh, we're in possession. As long as we have the attack, I'm happy. Yatta finds it to Smith. Pulls it back to Jack Wilshire. Old Pearson now. Oh, just keep possession. Smith. Over it so. Wilshire. What was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, thank God the keeper did his job. Who's enjoying a bit of possession here? He goes and plays that stupid long ball. Come on, get rid of it. Come on. End the highlight. End the highlight. Come on. That's it. That's it. Tell you what. You can uh, employ <laughs> a bit of cheeky um, time wasting. So, time wasting frequently whenever possible. <laughs> Minutes to go now. Another highlight. Oh, God. Come on, give us the ball at least. And they've had 24 shots. I can see him getting an equaliser here, honestly. Oh, thank God he can't finish. <laughs> Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Oh, we got away with that one. <laughs> they had 25 shots to our six, and we managed to sneak a 3 2 win. Whew. Thank God for that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, kind of impulse mate, I was watching Retro and Gav stream and they said they would jump in mine, so I knew I had three then. Oh, wicked. That's good then. Nice, nice. Who's, obviously I've seen Retro, that was Squeaky Bomb Time, wasn't it? I've seen Retro's name, who's Gav? I've seen obviously a few names in your chat now. That was a good win. That was a good win. You want your uh, beers yourself tonight, Dan? His name is Wells Fells or something like that. Never knew him before, but they always drop by now. Oh yeah, I've seen that name. Uh, a bit of Rabina tonight. I don't mind a bit of Rabina, to be fair. God, it's taking its time, isn't it? Come 
come on. Come on, come on. Right, at last. You were under significant pressure in that match. How have you come away with a result? <laughs> we did need a bit of luck here and there. Judge by the amount of shots that I had against us. Yeah, we got, we got away with that one, I think. But that puts us up to 11th with 22 points. So we are six points away from that little playoffs relegation spot. Which is good. And obviously, seven from Lever Leverkusen and Wolfsburg. They're not teams you expect to be down in the relegation zone. Lucky hamburger. Celebrate unlikely victory. <laughs> what can you say? I was not really my usual chat self tonight, which was annoying because I had a shitload of people. <laughs> Typical, isn't it, that? You know, I was supposed to uh, do a stream on Wednesday evening. I never get around to it in the end. That's what I call uh, Steve's choice. On Monday and Fridays, it's this. And on Wednesdays, I, I did set up a little schedule saying Steve's choice. But I did a footy manager lunch time one, but I just wasn't feeling it in the evening. I just didn't really fancy really engaging, really. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. I mean, really. And then we got Augsburg next. Actually, what I'm going to do, I am going to flick the music channel. And Dan, I'm bringing back Emo. This is apparently the Evo playlist. <laughs> oh, Will Yaskalainen. Do you remember um, Yassi Yaskalainen? His dad. Bolton and all that. Yeah, look. Who back then, he was one of the team members of Bolton that always used to defeat Arsenal. Always. That Bolton team. So a lot, a lot were lurking though, and because no one was saying anything, it was hard to try and keep it flowing. Yeah, I won't do that again, because if you feel low energy, then it's not the best stream. Now I know why the top streamers have energy drinks and protein shakes. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do see a lot of them just buzzing themselves away, don't you? But I don't like drinking energy drinks at this time of night. I, I might have one here and there during the day, but yeah, this time of night, it would just keep you up all night, wouldn't it? But even though, you know, like I said, even with people that are lurking, even if they're not chatting, that's good for your average numbers. Well, you obviously know that anyway, yeah. But yeah, so lurkers are welcome. If you're watching, anyone. <laughs> Lurk away. I don't think I've had Budweiser for about two or three years. Yeah, I do quite like, I do quite like a Bud. Oh yes, it's great. Just, it's a better stream when they say something because I have something to say. I guess with this game, I've always got something to chat about because I'm either reading stuff or talking about my match, talking about some of my players. But I guess in other games, such as Code Vein, you can't always talk about it if you're like in the middle of battle, you're trying to concentrate, you just want to, you know, focus on that. So it's a bit harder, I guess. <laughs> I end up asking them <laughs> how they are about 10 times. <laughs> you kind of forget, don't you? You think, shit, if I, if I ask how they are, I need to ask how they are. So you do it again. You're like, so how's everyone doing? You alright? Yeah. They probably reply like, yeah, nothing's changed since last time you asked me five minutes ago. <laughs>
Stream yourself some footy manager, Dan. <laughs> That's on the Xbox now. It's a lot slower on the Xbox. Not as in how quick it goes, but using the D-pad and you know using buttons to click all the menus is it's a bit of a nightmare really. I did get it on the Xbox, but it's just so slow in that sense. Like I said, not processing or anything like that, but just just clicking things really. Hamburger takeover rumours not to be believed. Ooh. Well, obviously not to be believed. I don't know what I'm getting excited for. <laughs> Clearly says not. <laughs> so you've been up to much else today, Dan? On this lovely rainy Friday in Ashford. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. That our goalkeeper got in Team of the Week. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I can imagine. I downloaded that game Donut County today, as I saw someone put it on your gaming Facebook page. One of the thousand points for the Microsoft points. Oh yeah, yeah, that was um Dave, I think. Dave McLeod. Yeah, I saw that. I was tempted. Jamie played it, said it was a bit of a laugh. And uh, I might actually download that and give it a go. It looks kind of slapstick fun. You know, something you can just chill and not worry about and get stressed about. <laughs> you like it, Dan? Is it pretty good? Oh, I wonder kids out for five weeks. It'll be alright. He's got young bones. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. He has to be a white. He's a wonder kid. So, if we get Odegaard, which I'll be really happy with, you know, because he's quite quality, I'm just worrying. Will that affect Emil Smith Rowe's progression? You know, would Arteta play Odegaard instead of Arteta, um, instead of Smith Rowe? That's my only concern about loaning him in, because I just want to see Smith Rowe get as much game time as possible. He's been our best player, I think. Him and Saka. Bikayo Saka, not Granite. But even Granite hasn't been too bad lately. Not great, but, you know, he hasn't been his donkey self, shall we say. Another one of our little youth prospects. He's turned professional. Good. He will play instead of Ceballos. Yeah, it could be a good shot. Yeah, got to Tavares play centre. But we've got Party back. And Arteta just seems to want to play Xhaka all the time. So unless we go with Party and Odegaard. And then Smith Rowe just in front. I'd, l I'd like to go with that. I think that'd be decent. Hmm. And then with Saka out on one wing. And then probably more. Probably a Bamiang on the other wing with Lacquers it up front, maybe. Do you think um, Matt Ryan will start tomorrow, seeing his FA Cup? You know, we do sometimes switch around our goalies during the old FA Cups. Yeah, I was going to show you my other new sign in. Arnout Dan Dan Juma. He's apparently got two caps for Holland and scored one goal. 24, not bad. Managed to pick him up 4.1 million. Yeah, he, we got him from, yeah, Bournemouth, so from England. Yeah, not sure how we fit him in, but I can see him starting, yeah. Yeah, I reckon he will, to be fair. Straight in the deep end. We've got a cup get game here, mate. You've got to go and go, and you've got to make sure you don't concede. <laughs> Especially the FA Cup, that's our little uh, proud and joy, the old FA Cup. <laughs> oh, 
Right, come on in, let's bring on Aldberg. We, we're home in this one. And then we, we're actually starting to get our return fixtures, because we, we've already played Bruce and Monty Gladbach over here at the end. Yeah, we drew against them when they were second, I think. I just think we need more firepower. I'm losing faith in Ober and Lacquer. Yeah, it looks good, that youngster. Thing is, with Lacquer, yeah, to me, he's better coming off the bench, personally, I think. But, uh, Bamiang, alright, he's, he's scored a couple more goals lately, but he has been really dry throughout the whole season. Hopefully, things are clicking into gear for him, but, yeah, like I said, I do like him, but I just think he's better coming off the bench. He seems to be. Seems to have a super sub effect sometimes. Oh, Amici's injured. Three days. Let's fight him. Yeah, and even Eddie and Ketia, I don't think he's probably cut out at the top level. Hope I'm wrong. I hope it proves me wrong, but. Yeah, I just don't know if he's the Arsenal type of player either, to be fair. Right, let's give this squad a bit of praise. Hanover have lost again, so that's two in a row for them. So they're down to 18. Good. Over to get relegated. Needs to work harder, I think. I love players that chase everything down. Yeah, the press, the old press. Yeah, I like that. And when Otter did first take over, they were doing it a little bit, but they've seemed to have stopped a little bit now. That's what it feels like. And I'm trying to think who does Martinelli. He always be pressing. Oh yeah, I forgot about Martinelli. Obviously, he can play on the other wing. <laughs> he always um, presses. I've noticed that a lot. You know, the goalkeeper's got the ball, and you he, he'll just see him sprinting at him. So he might start tomorrow actually. So we get to choose. Um, an affiliate club. Swall, Bodo Glimt, Norway, or STVV. Sounds like a disease. Uh, Swall. Maybe because they're Holland and they have good youth academy. So what, what would we get? A link between Hamburger and Swall sends an idle chance for Hamburg to gain firm foothold in Holland and help them secure the signatures of youngsters from Swall. Same with Bodo Glimt. Youngsters from Norway or youngsters from STVV. Although I'm saying that. Belgium seem to produce better players right now than Holland, don't you think? Hang on, here we go, look. If I look at this as well, look. STVV have got great youth facilities. Alright, Bodo have excellent and Swell have great as well, so. I don't really want to go Norway because I don't think I'll get many players coming out of there. I'm tempted. Belgium or Holland. What do you reckon, Dan? Link up with the Belgian team to try and pinch their youngsters in the future or a Dutch team. They've both got great youth facilities. And great training facilities. Belgium, yeah. Alright, mate. Yeah, let's go to Belgium. Cool. John Flanagan, I signed him before on something. Oh yeah, for Salzburg on my upper save. Yeah, alright then, cool. Yeah, at the moment, Belgium are probably a lot better. Yeah, they've got everything going for them at the moment. Yeah, they haven't, they? They, they were number one in the world, weren't they? I don't know if they still are, but they were ranked number one not long ago. We've announced a new link with k Sint Trudens. Cool. So this agreement will see us have first option on their players. In practice, this means once a bid for a player is accepted, a bid of the same value from us must also be accepted. Then it's down to the player to choose his future. Let's go and have a look at their youth team then. Oh, there's none in there. They're all grayed out players you can't actually do anything with. They're just filler for some reason. Under 18s. So they've got Papal. Kashindi, 
That's what he looks like, so nothing special at the moment, I want to say. And Dave England. A few double digits. Keep an eye on him anyway. And then the first team, they've got a 21 year old Johnny Lucas. <laughs> Sounds like that could be a film or something, doesn't it? Johnny Lucas. That Mod Sun and Avril Lavigne have a proper music video now. Yes, I need to check that out actually. I did see it come up on uh, my YouTube recommended recommended videos. Never knew that song was produced by Fo John Feldy. Remind me, who's John Feldy? I know, the name rings a bell. But I'm trying to think who, who he is. So Guillermo is expecting to leave this window. These guys are expecting to be loaned out. But yeah, if people come in for you, then you can go. But if no one wants you, let's try anyway. I'll give him a little, little push. To say I've tried. They can't moan that way. Oh, they will moan. They will definitely moan. But if they do moan, I can just come back at them and go, look, shut up. Did try. Oh, yes, yes. Goldfinger front man. Yep, I know exactly who you mean. He also produces a lot of the bling stuff, does he? I honestly didn't know that, dude. Yeah, I thought he was just doing his own thing with Goldfinger. I saw they did a lot of their lockdown videos. You know, Superman, 99 Red Balloons and all the other hits. Oh, actually, I didn't know that. He was producing stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Doesn't surprise me, though. That's his, that is his style. He's massive in producing now. Oh, wicked. Yeah, I'll have a watch of that Avril Lavigne video later, actually. Once I come off this, actually. She hasn't changed, <laughs> to be fair. She has, but you know what I mean. She still looks good for her age. I say for her age, for fuck's sake. We like her age. <laughs> Right, let's loan these boys out. Let's see if anyone will come back. And if they don't, like I said, they can't really moan that I've not actually tried to uh, get rid of them. Okie dokie, All right. <laughs> Her voice sounds a bit weird these days. Don't know if they put too much effects in it. It wouldn't surprise me. Especially if she's singing with that rapper. A lot of rap probably use auto-tune in that, don't they? Yep, a Poku's going to get loaned out. Oh, we've got a few offers for King Zombie as well. That's good then. It looks like people are actually coming in for them. Um, Rio, Av, Gijon, Chavez, Maritimo, or oh, Ascoli. You know what, I'm just going to accept them all. I don't mind where he goes. And Wagnerman. <laughs> yeah, we'll loan him as well. And Bruma. Thing is, if he, if he leaves, he wants a payoff. 600k. I'm not paying that to get rid of someone. We're only getting. His, the transfer would be 775, and we'll have to pay off 600k just to get rid of him. I'll negotiate it, but I'm not. 100, I'll give you 100. 600, no, I'm rejecting that. And um, PSV, again, 100. Nah, in that case, you're not going then. <laughs> I'm in a rush to get rid of the guy, to be honest. We only signed him in the summer. Final three. I don't know about you, but I follow quite a few people on Twitch now. Always have to make decisions on who to watch. One that recently watched me always come first, and then I'll try others. I think that's the way it's got to be, in it? You've got to keep a close-knit community to begin with and support each other, which will help your numbers and that, as you know. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of get what you're saying. There's a few that I've been connecting with now, and uh, I always make the time to pop in and have a little chat with them. And then I've seen them pop in mine, have a little chat here and there sort of thing, but 
I guess if none of them are online and you're on Twitch, you could always kind of have a little look, you know, at some smaller communities and just pop your head in there and say hello if none of the uh, followers are online. But yeah, I do know what you mean. Yeah. Augsburg. Right. Let's see if we can uh, grab ourselves another little victory. Do I give Dan Juma a debut? Yeah, let's, let's give him a debut. And what's his best position? Yeah, so invert winger support. He's playing inverted forward, so I'm going to switch that to winger support. Hopefully, that will get the best out of him. Don't know what it's going to do on battery power when I go back to work. If it's always on the background, it's going to kill my phone, that's true. I follow about 40 small streamers now. <laughs> I think I've probably got about 25 at the moment. Yeah, so you should get one yourself if you got one one of those little battery pack things for your phone it's like a phone case you probably know you've seen them yeah and you just pop your phone into it and then it starts charging it back up because that holds some reserve all right let's get cracking let's play our next match Recent form, as in form, would have Augsburg third and us eighth. Yeah, let's. No. It's a bit too much pressure. Let's raise our game to their level. But I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Why not? Wolfsburg will continue their battle against relegation when they face Cologne. What do you think of the chances? Well, I was surprised to see them bottom in Leverkusen. Um, it's going to be a close run thing, but if they put together a few decent results, I'm sure they can probably pop out of that. Alright then, let's go. When I played that FIFA career mode, you always get players getting pissed off when they don't get played. Used to do my in. I'll be like, well, play better and you get more games. Yeah, it's, it's so annoying, yeah. I know if you give them the contracts and say important player, they're expecting to play, but... Oh, hang on, hang on. Get in, a Rizzo lad. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, but a lot of the people that come back moaning, you've given them like a backup contract or like a squad or a rotation or whatever or FIFA is the equivalent of I can't remember and they still moan yeah if you put them as star player key player or whatever it is that's fair enough but you know Philip Sendros come on mate you can't be demanding football not today good start good start boys oh that's a good ball Dan Juma on his debut debut nearly Ooh -hoo. Does, swings it in, headed away. Oxford, that's all race Oxford, isn't it? From West Ham. Banana, Mendes. So, as it stands, we're up to ninth. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> oh, Dan Juma. Go on, Sam. Find Yatta. That's a penalty. Hey. Did it? <laughs> oh, it's kind of far. He might want to consult far, even. I don't think it was a penalty, but I'm just used to football manager now. With those sort of tackles, you can sometimes get one. And we have. Ooh. A Rizzo with a chance to grab his second of the day. 11th minute. Shoots. Scores. Get in. Ninth goal of the season. I used to sign players without proper scouting them, and they were awful. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... And, uh, uh, uh I would give them a decent contract to make them come when it would show me their full stats here. Yeah, once you pick buy them, I suppose it's like, then you see everything about them, don't you? Yeah, when it would show me their full stats, they were shocking. I didn't play it much, to be fair, but I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. You can't be bothered for the scout report. Oh, he had to. Makes it three. This is going really well. Um, I'm losing my... my Train of thought here, actually. 
yeah, you'd buy the player because uh, you just think, yeah, he looks good. Without the scout report. And then he comes, like you just said, and he's like 74 rated. And you was expecting him to be like 84 or something. But... Go on, Dan Juma. Gootsa, is that the Mario Gootsa? Dan Jama. He looks quite pacey. Looks quite exciting. Go on, Mendes, swig it in. Half's going well so far. <coughs> Smith, we all free kick. Banana to Mendes. Finds a Rizzo to Danjuma on his debut. Get in. This is going really well. I did not expect to see us winning 4 0 before half time. Moish. Very nice. And have got themselves a corner. Alzate swings it in. Core shoots. Barcos picks up the loose ball. Oh, that's a brilliant save by Ulrich. Did I see Klopp and the Villabosk almost coming to blows the other day? Um, no, I don't think I did, mate. No, no I missed that one. Oh, Burnley. Oh, no, again. I didn't, no, I didn't see that. No. Klopp has started to really become a bad loser lately. You know, he keeps going on about penalties and stuff like that. Talking about Man United and penalties. All right, he's got a point, but he's a professional. He's, he gets a lot of penalties himself, so I don't know why he keeps moaning all the time. Last season, how many penalties did they get, or, or how many times did VAR help him? He's just, yeah, he's rattled because they're not doing well now. In fourth place, I think. I don't think they've scored for four games. Not used to losing. Yeah, or not as good as he wants them. Yeah, and that's exactly it, I think. He's, he expected them to perform like that every single time, but, you know, things aren't going his way, and he's, well, in other words, throwing his toys out of the pram. <laughs> I do like Bob. You know, I will, I will say that. I do like him. Oh, well, so... <laughs> get his hat trick <laughs> wow what a game <laughs> it's still pretty wide open it is yeah Man City could go top if they win their games in hands obviously Man United are doing well <laughs> and uh, even Villa they lost to City the other day but if they'd won all their games in hand they would have gone top oh Villa and obviously Leicester they're still up there and we before United won you say we're only 10 points from the top which isn't that bad in that in that kind of sense, you know, we finished the season like 10 points behind United and finished second. So, not saying we're going to get up there at all, but, you know. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got a goal back. Daniel Cagliari. Alright, oh, let's make some changes. Let's make some changes. They've done really well. So you've had a brilliant game. You've got your hat trick. Now I'm going to bring on Vinceheimer and Dan Trim. I'm going to give you 90 minutes. You're having a really good debut. Mendes for old Jackie Wuxia and Van Dronglen for Willy Saliba. So we've got another chance, have we? Ooh, just over the bar from Yatta. Leah Bold. Oh, Jack Wilshire. Anana. Go on, Dan, Dan Juma. <laughs> Dan Juma with two on his debut. <laughs> what a performance he's having. He's playing brilliant. He's definitely starting the next match. Sorry, Kittel. I know you was playing there, but after this performance, I'm not dropping him. giving us a little bit of breathing space from the old relegation zones, so it's going alright, going alright. You see that new Flatfoot's Kales page someone has made on Facebook? So many old photos on there. I know you're a bit younger than me, but it's certainly a bit of nostalgia. Yeah man, you're smashing it. 
<laughs> I went really well that game. I haven't, no. Um, I never actually got to go there as Flatfoots or Kales. Like I said, I know I'm a few years younger than you, but... No, I, if I find it, I'll have a look, because I know my brother used to go in there. So there might be a few golden pictures of him I can find. As in my older brother, not Jamie. Send it over, mate, if you want. Has he got pictures of Liquid and Envy and all that sort of thing as well? Uh, who got my other match? No surprise there, look. Matthias Arizzo with his hat trick. That, minus the goal that we did see, that was pretty much a complete performance, really. Can't believe how well we played. Really happy with that. <laughs> Outstretched arms. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. That was exceptional. Such a positive result must have gone down really well We the players we get in a day off. Absolutely. To say that was an exaggeration, just how pleased are you by the outcome? It was absolutely superb. I think it's mainly the old place, but there was... No. Oh yeah, that was a decent match for sure. Yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting to get a 6-1 win. You know, getting a win would be great, but 6-1, that's the biggest win I've had with this, this squad. Yeah, look, a 3-2 win, that was, we scored three, I was happy with, but all our other wins, look, a 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 2-1. All right, all right, we did get a 4-0 against Freiburg, but obviously this tops that, obviously. Yeah, I think that's probably our biggest, biggest win, actually. This is last year, so there's a 5-1 there. By three, yeah. So in terms of scoring goals, that's the most we've ever scored in a, in a one match. That's good. Very nice. So, two, two wins to kick off the stream. That's exactly how you want it to go. But then this can be a tricky game. Borussia Mönchengladbach, they're fourth. And they're not a bad team, are they? So <laughs> I might set up defensively for that one. Yeah, scored nine in two games. Gosh. Very nice. Yeah, now look, we've got much about them cup tie against another Bundesliga team. And then Dortmund. Got a praise of Rizzo for that performance. He even got an assist as well. Three goals and an assist. Blokes on fire. <laughs> Did you ever see um you see, I see you out with him a lot, um Chris. Dude. Obviously, probably not now because of lockdown, but... Uh, yeah, dude and his brother. That's why we scored him. Dude. <laughs> You've shown a little let up in this fantastic season while leaving notions of relegation a distant memory. Where does this hamburger team go from here? It's nice to think that we're no longer... Involved. Well, let's not get carried away. I don't want to... Say we're not in it. He's moved to Folkestone now. Oh, is he really? I didn't know that. Hmm. But you do see him now and again. Ah, that's good then. That's cool. Hmm. So proud of what we achieved so far this season. In this case, being as optimistic as possible, we're good enough to win something. No, we're not. We're doing well, but we've got a long way to go until we're matching the likes of Bayern. Come on, we're not going with a bloody title, are we? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this one. I'm not going to say something that I might regret later. How do you think the two teams fared? I thought it was a fascinating match. Russo's hat trick was undoubtedly the key factor. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, Dan Juma had a great debut. That was his debut. I can't wait for his next match. Technology gave us a penalty. Don't have an opinion. I didn't see it. That's what Benga would say. Ambrosius is unsettled. Is why he was left out of the team. What does his future hold? I do want to keep him. I've heard good things about him. So. 
Yeah, let me say that one. God, there's a lot of questions. Can you offer an insight to why you set your team up to play this way? To win? Because that route one that they want us to play last time, we were struggling with. There's growing disconsent. Add your reluctance to play as you promised in a direct manner. What was your response to that? Well, we were losing with direct football, and now we've changed it to gig and press. We're getting results, so. If it meant getting results every week, then I'll stick to it without an issue. If I manage a team based on your pins, we'd probably have been ruins. <laughs> I want to be judged on results and nothing else. Yeah, that's a fair thing to say, isn't it? If we're getting the wins, can't really complain. So next up, yeah, that tricky match against Munch and Gladback. Alright oh, mate, I've run out of beer, so I'm going to have to just do a quick beer run, so I'm just going to put the old BRB screen up and I'll be right back, dude. Okie dokie mate, I'm back. I forgot, I had my bottle opener ready and everything, but I'm on these buds, aren't I? And they're the ones with the twisty tops, you can just screw off with your hands. I completely forgot about those. There's me like with my bottle opener. So we're sitting ninth in the table, with 25 points. Now, nine points away from any relegation battles. That's pretty good they are decent yeah especially like when you go into a party or just or not even party if you randomly go um I don't know drink at a park or something silly like that you know you don't need to carry around by the uh, bottle opener although you'd always have the old crazy friend who would um open the beer bottles with his teeth <laughs> Yeah, so we're 15 points from top. Obviously, I'm not thinking about top at all. But we're only three points away from what well, I'm assuming here is a European position, so a long way to go. Not getting carried away. But yeah, it's going well. It's going pretty well. Uh, nah, I don't need to attend that. I know what players I need. Thank you, sir. My teeth would never withstand that. At least teeth. Things eating those toppy players are bloody hell, man. Oh, I could never do that. No, oh, I think I might have tried it once, but yeah, it felt really weird. And I think like the edges of the oh, sort of digging into your gums, yeah, uncomfortable. And some people just be like, do it for fun. Do you beer opened? Well, yeah, if you got a bottle opener, no, I do it with my mouth. And I'm like, oh, a, that's bad, and I don't want my beer near your mouth. Thank you. So I'm munching black back next to a four. You uh, streaming tomorrow, Dan, or are you just gonna see how it goes?
So we've got a few players we're waiting to see if they go or not because they were, had bids for them. So they might end up leaving before the uh, deadline. They can bagger off. Scout away, boys. Scout away. How much money we got? 500. Nearly no, 600k. 75 soon. Not bad. But I don't think I need to buy anyone, to be honest. If anything, like I said, I'm trying to offload players. See how it goes, mate. I really want to do a music one, but I just need the right kind of atmosphere for it. It's hard to explain. you got to be in, this, in the zone. You know, like that kind of musically artistic zone sort of thing. Okay. Just like imagine you're setting up for one of your gigs or something, you know. You've got no choice, but you've got to do it. <laughs> Not that you get paid for it here on Twitch, obviously. Well, unless you're affiliate, then it'd be worth it when you get paid for your little adverts. I guess it's a case of trying to think of a set list as well, isn't it? Or you just like just going by what you feel like playing at that time. Like I said, I did um, watch one of your little clips you did, and uh, it actually sounded good. I don't think anything was too loud or too quiet. It sounded pretty well balanced. It's a risk because it could go horribly wrong. I used to do them a lot, but now I have new followers. It's a bit nervous because people will see a different side of you. Yeah, I mean, I can get I get that, I suppose. But I think at the same time, it also brings out another, per another part of your personality. You know, you won't just be seen as someone who games. They'll be like, oh yeah, Dan, I, he, he plays music as well, doesn't he? Yeah. So I can see where, you, where you're going with that, yeah. I mean, if I was watching a stream of gaming, and then they went live, said they were playing guitar. Cause, you know, you know, and I know that you can play guitar pretty well, and you know you're pretty decent at singing. So, and if I was watching a streamer who plays games, and then he did a, a music set, I think I'd be more invested. And in I'm thinking, oh wow, they actually do other stuff as well. They're not just playing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, I might give it a go. But it's the cod geezers I have that might take the piss lol. Who know? Nah, fuck them. <laughs> but if they're watching, <laughs> that only helps to average views. Nah, I mean, if it's strangers, and if they're not interested, surely they'll just click off the channel, wouldn't they? I don't know, but there's a lot of weird people out there who will just leave negative things, obviously, you know. But... I can't see why they would, mate. Just, I don't know, maybe think of a way to title it better. Not better, but, you know, I don't know. I know. I don't know what I would title it, but just to keep it a bit easy. Not, not you know, saying, hey, look at me. I'm really good at my guitar. Just, like, kicking out with my guitar. I don't know. Take along those lines or something, mate. Maybe. You know, I'm not too sure, but... It's a weird one, but yeah, you're probably right. It will be done sometime. I need to get beard up before. Yeah, get some beards down here. Yeah. That'll give you some confidence. Now I can see why you feel like that. It's a new experience. Cheesy tunes with a beer, exactly. Yeah, I think people like uh, some sing-alongs. I say do it in the evening, but then again, it's probably hard to do it in the evening because people in your house, if they're in bed or whatnot, Um, Gamma? I don't really want to sell him. What was, did we have him up for loan or...? No, he was by request. Mm. Well, well, I'm not accepting that far. My asking price is 3.3. .3, and they're offering 1.5. Eh, uh, no. I don't think so. They are having a giraffe.
you can gauge an audience when you see people, but on stream I don't know how to mix it up. Got the 80s fun shit and the obvious pop punk stuff I love, but might add your original stuff too. That's true. I can see what you're saying. Yeah, you can't see their reactions, can you? I mean, if they're kicking off saying good things on chat, then you kind of can, but yeah, I do know what you mean, actually. Yeah, you can't make an eye contact with that person, see if they're enjoying it, smiling, or... I get it. Yeah, I do get it, dude. So, Wagnerman's gone to Hanover. Oh, one of our rivals. So now I can put Ambrosius on the bench because he keeps bloody moaning. Van Dronglen is expecting playing time as well, so. So that has thinned my squad out a bit. That list would go on a lot more. I was maybe thinking of making it a game like spin the wheel or something and whatever it lands on I have to play. Good idea? Yeah. Yeah, definitely mate. It gets it quite engaged. Yeah, that's a good idea that. And if if you got a few in chat, you could always give them a choice of two songs. And then uh the one with the most votes, you know you can play or something. No, I do like that though. What you said. Spin the wheel kind of thing. I nearly said spin the bottle then. <laughs> spin the bottle on Twitch. Fine, I'd make a Bruma offer. I've accepted because it meets his release clause, yes, but I'm not paying 600k for him to leave. That is fine, but I, yeah, I said I'm not going to pay to get rid of someone. They're supposed to be paying us, obviously. Give our Willy Saliba some praise. He's doing alright. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> so, a win would give us 28 points. So, we've got a better goal difference than the team above us. We could get up to about seven if you know the teams around us cock up that's the thing I'll just play a set list but it's all depends on how many viewers when I did that free song thing I had none but that was before you had any volume yeah you did that early days and you know, you know when you just set up your channel and it was just a test but we'll see though yeah like if you do and you have a set time for it and date let me know, I'll pop by. Yeah, at least that'll help you hopefully bring your numbers up. And I'll, I'll be interested to watch it, not just for your numbers, dude. I'll, yeah, I'll be interested to watch it. It was more to see how the mobile thing for Twitch works. Yeah, I've not used mobile Twitch, to be honest. I've got the app downloaded, but yeah, I don't really use it for streaming. I watched a few videos on it, but or streams, should I say? But yeah, I'm not really set up myself. Well, the game's coming up thick and fast now. Launching Gladback Saturday, Mains Wednesday, and then Dortmund Sunday. Not the best sound or quality, but you know, it's definitely drinking beer kind of stream. Yeah, like you said, then just. Have a few beers with your, with your guitar and that, but and like I said, obviously you've heard it back yourself to your stream, but I thought it sounded decent. But it's definitely drinking beer country, yeah, it's the only way I can do it, which is a shame. Maybe once you've done it once or twice with a few beers, it might slowly relax you and you, you feel like you can do more, but without, without drinking or something. But at the same time, you haven't got much to lose as such. I know you don't want to, you know, alienate your current viewers, the people that watch your gaming streams. But, uh, yeah, also, you've got anything physically, physical to lose as such. Yeah, I might go a bit defensive for this one. 
Not played many gigs in my career without a drink. Sells all nerves. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves another cheeky win. Yeah, I can't believe we've scored nine goals in two two games. It's mental. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping on Dan Juma. Two goals on his debut. That was perfect. Arizzo starting to rack him up now. Ten goals in eighteen games. His value is now at four point six, and we'll be buying for one point three. So it's, it is increasing. So it's worth it. It's worth a go, anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not, mate? Go on, the boys. Yeah, come on, lads. Let's let's put in another good performance. Like I said, I've gone defensive on this one because playing fourth place. So. Just playing it a bit safe, I think. Yeah, a few players there I recognise him. Bolo, he was one of the the old FIFA players. <laughs> Golovin, the Russian international. Um, pl play, plea. I can't, don't know how to say his name, but I've seen his name a lot. Anyway, let's see how we can do. Pump fists. No, I want to say that. I want you to pick up where you left off with outstretched arms. Pre preparation is everything in football these days. Can and you may feel you know what to expect from Roger Gladbach. Can you see him employing a tactical surprise? I don't think there's a debate to be had, to be fair. It's not the best weather for football out there today. I don't think 99% of footballers really care, really, once they're out there. Just adapt to it, don't you? Yeah, that plea gets an informing fee for a lot, so he must be good. Well, hopefully he's not in this game. <laughs> yeah, I've seen his name a lot. I've never actually bought him or anything on a game, but yeah, he's a name that you see a lot. Right, it? First highlight, I think it's Monte Gladbach on the attack. It is Diaz Newhouse. Lena gets it in. <laughs> and it's 1-0 after 10 minutes. First shot as well, it looks like. Damn. Now we got a corner. Oh, Mendez swings it in. Oh, get in. A Rizzo with an equaliser. He just came zooming in onto that cross, didn't he? Just like he just ran into the box and met it with his head without jumping. Pretty much, I think. Well, he didn't jump. That's a good reply. Three minutes later, with our first shot of the game, we equalise. Apparently 39 is the magic number to avoid relegation, I think I read about the Bundesliga. But well, we've got another corner, Mendes, in it goes, and it's away. Dan Juma, ooh, close, so close. Dan, do you um, have a, a Twitter for your Twitch channel, Bruises and Beers. Oh, go on, Yatta. Ah, oh, you put it wide. Because uh, if you have, sometimes share your, your link on there and then use the hashtags. I um, can't remember off the top of my head, but if you look online, just like Twitch hashtags to use on Twitter, there's a lot on there with like support small streams, small streamer, and obviously the game that you play in. That can help get you some views. People coming in. And there's a few pages if you follow them, they'll retweet your uh, your your tweet sort of thing. I do, mate, but it's my name, but not bruises. But I might be able to change it. Yeah, I mean, or yeah, you could use your damn one to be fair. Oh, are we on the counter here. Go on, Mendez. Beat it, the Yatta. Oh, so close. Yeah, I just set up a new one for Pop and Fresh. I've got my own personal one. And then just set this one called Poppin' Fresh for my Twitch. <coughs> oh, I thought he was offside, but I don't think he was. So it's 2 1 to Montreal Gladbach. Damn. Alright. Um, 
I don't think we need to play defensively because we're not actually being dominated or anything. I'm going to go positive. And um, Dan Juma, I'm going to bring up this time for Kittel. He's normally our left winger. And he's normally done a good job. So let's hopefully he'll do another good job. And we've lost possession straight away from kickoff. That's very poor. Good job, Ulrich was awake. Come on, boys, wake up. It is a tricky away game, like I said, to fourth place. Munching club back. Oh, Smith's left on his ass. Oh, and Diaz puts it away. And he gets his second of the game. Oh, Smith was left on his ass big time there, wasn't he? Um, oh, then we'll go attack him. We are 3 1 down. Let's go a bit more direct. That'll please the board, won't it? Let's sneak back a draw. 25 minutes to go. Go on, Shmi. Put in a good cross, lad. Kittel, ooh, close. Best thing I did was change my Twitch name. I was Dan Brown 1 at 2 very early on. But that's a huge mistake. Not only does it reveal my name, it also it's a non memorable name. People seem to remember bruises and they like it. Yeah, it's quite unique, to be fair. Yeah. Ooh, play with a chance there. And like I said, it's got meaning to it. Obviously, Dan Brown182, like I said, it's your name, and obviously most people are going to think Blink182 as well. Yeah, at least this, it gives you your own unique identity. Oh, we're, we're playing poor in this game. Well, we're not poor, actually, because, you know, we've had eight shots, but only one on target, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's not looking great. Oh, good save. Again, headed away by Saliba. Let's bring off a Ritzo for a to road. Six foot four monster. And they go very attacking. Because they're still, uh, they're still producing a lot of shots. And I said I didn't realise we only had one on target. Which uh, isn't great. Oh no. Oh no, hang on. The ref saying something. Apparently Diaz straight offside and he's considering it going to bar that'd be his hat trick if he scores but it's no goal hat trick denied oh look how tight that is the yellow and red line oh. <laughs> good old bar <laughs> yeah I remember when I first added you on Xbox use old 182 you've had that a long time yeah are we going to get a consolation, boys? No. Jan Summer. He's not a bad goalkeeper. He's always done well in football games. Probably real life as well. <laughs> yeah, I would say, well, hopefully they don't score. Devastated by this result. You know, so we're playing a stronger team. We have produced eight shots. Ooh, ooh just our shots on target that's been poor but generally I don't think we did too bad didn't realize it had that yeah I think this is the first year it's had it I don't think last year had it all right up to him Yeah, that's it. I can't be too sad about losing that game. It was away. They're fourth, yeah. I said, especially with the few extra players that they did have, they looked pretty decent. Like I said, I know my expectations this season. It's to avoid relegation. So, you know. I can't moan too much. Although Arizzo is set for a pay rise soon. He's one more appearance away 
which will increase his wages to 11,250. Lucky boy. Mains, so Vord wanted us to reach round three of the cup, which we've done. So hopefully that'll please him. Hopefully we don't go out, but if we did go out, we've achieved the target of reaching round three. And then Old Dortmund's next. But I think the teams down at the bottom also lost because we're still so yeah, still nine points from being sucked into the relegation playoff. So it's not too bad, not too bad. But uh, yeah, once again, mate, I'm literally just going to put the old BRB screen up again. And I'll be uh, right back, dude. Alright then mate, I'm back. Oh here we go again. Arteta likes to moan about me not playing Saliba in his right position. So it was agreed that he'll be playing as a central defender, right? So I go to my squad, Saliba, oh look, central defender. <laughs> Come on Arteta, if you watched the matches, you'd understand. Look, he's played a lot in that role, I disagree. Alright, I trust you. I need to get back to work. <laughs> Anyways, dude, I'm going to call it a night. Take care, mate. Oh, I need to find out if I can rage using Twitch through the Xbox, because today I could have tried taking my people into yours. Defo need to be a bit more savvy on it, because I know hardly anything about it. Okay, mate, yeah, yeah, that, that would have been cool if, if you did, mate, but I think, like I said, I'm not certain. I think if you just go onto um, your chat on your phone and type in the raid and the person's name. I think that's how you do it, but yeah, like I said, check out Google, that no more. I'm not certain, I've never, I've never done one myself, so yeah, anyway, um, cheers for popping by, Dan, much appreciated, mate. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll swing by in one of your streams sh soon, mate, so yeah, enjoy the rest of your night, dude. Cheers, mate. Okie dokie, what we got? 
So mains, yeah, in the cup next. Hopefully, we can sneak ourselves into round four. That'd be nice. And then at least that will beat the, uh, the board's expectations. By Leverkusen, still bottom. Oh, they managed to win, and now they're not bottom. Oh, Hanover are getting sucked into there. Good. <laughs> I'm not angry at Hanover. Pipping us to the tile. Oh, honestly, I'm not. I'm not angry. Transfer deadline day. Always got to take part in deadline day, haven't you? I think I'm still expecting a few players to go, to be honest. I haven't got time for press conferences. I'm trying to deal with transfers here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry. Dan, I've just seen your last message. Yeah, see you, mate. Cheers, Bob and Bite. Yep, here we go. So, can Zombie is going to be loaded out to Gijon? Bruma. Do we have to pay him out? I hope not. Doesn't say anything about paying him off, so hopefully we've got the full whack for that. Hopefully. Anyway, brought him in for free. Managed to get 775k. Nice. <coughs> and Mets are making an offer for Yanra. Again, no. 3.3 or no. No deal. No deal. No deal, no. No deal. Yep, so Gijon have sealed King Zombie deal. And do we plan to loan out Jonah Fabish? No, I haven't got time for press conferences. It's trying for the deadline day. What an arse, are Hey, nobody got time for that. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it's been rather quiet. Do you particularly like Flurry? No comment. I'm such a dick. Another bid. The Leobold. Now here's a player I don't really want to sell because he kind of is our main main man at left back. Yeah, he rated as our best left back. Maybe next year and I might be able to afford to replace him, but this year the answer is no. Well this year. This season, should I say. Yeah, we'd have 1.16 million. I mean, she'll have a little dip into the transfers window, see what's going on. I don't feel, like I said, I need to bring really anyone in because this window is mainly about trying to loosen the squad, thin it out a bit. Where do I want to go? I want to go to scouting players and then the spy and the scouting player. And then filter by the recommendation. Anthony Robertson, 10 million. Wanted by Birmingham and Derby. Josh Onama. Now, he was this guy that we had last year on loan in the centre of the park, and he actually played really well for us. Yeah, 31 goals, uh, appearances, 8 goals, 8 assists. He was good, he was good. But now. He would be our fifth best centre back uh, mid if we were to bring him in. It's probably wise not to, I think. As much as I'd like to. I just don't think we've got the the need for him right now. He was good for Bundesliga 2, but this is a step up, so I don't think 
he's the right guy for the job. Sucks to be him. Alright, what about player search? We'll have a look at that. Just normal player search. Yeah, we definitely don't need him. Just fall back again. We're getting Gwendozi in um, next season, so we're going to have him playing in the centre of the park. That's, that's a big improvement, isn't it? Surely. Old Matteo Gwendozi. Yeah, got to be happy with that. Uh, loan, let's switch that off. And uh, let's just see if there's any players listed at a dirty cheap price. How I like them. Dirty and cheap. <laughs> Diego Jota is up for sale. He could be going to Benfica. Scott McTominay, Stephen Burwain. Oh, I don't mean that. 14 million. I'm not. I haven't got that sort of money, so. That deal is off the table. Like I said, I've only got one million. I mean, could that be negotiable? Yeah, but I can only offer a player roughly 60 grand before overspending. Which I think is fair. We don't want to be giving players more than 60 grand at my club right now. You watch, I say that. I bet I'm bloody paying people. That's what wage. No, our highest wage is 44. And that's Sven Ulrich. And then Sonic Tell is on 41. Yeah, I think that's fair. Pop that up to 3.8, and then we've got a 60 grand wage budget. That's a bit fair off, I think. Um, so, yeah, we will actually have a little play around. Any recommended players? Danny DeWitt. He's in that bracket. So what I might do, I think you can search for um, release price clauses, yeah. Minimum release clause, yeah. Because there might be players that are worth a lot more, but you can get them from their release clause. Then I can see that. Oh, no, I don't uh, so there's only a couple of guys, Melina, um, yeah I don't think anyone's really cutting the grade there, from listed, but what if I go to any, yeah, because I don't have to be listed today. Yeah, I mean this guy, am I, am I doing this right? Yeah, as of, yeah, release clause of 3.8 million, right, okay. So he's worth 12 million, this guy. Lobs, Lobs Hansy. Lobs Hansy. Where does he lob Hansies? He lobs hands. Yeah, like these players, three point two million. Obviously, he'd be worth three point eight to get him if I wanted to buy him. But obviously, this guy he's worth twelve million, right? But if I really wanted him, I'm not sure I do. I'd only have to bid that. And I can get him for 3.8 million. But I don't think I need him. Do I? He's an inverted winger. And he's fifth rated on both wings. His next best spot is attacking midfield, and he's sixth best there. So I don't think I should really buy him, to be honest. Bit of a waste of money, I think. Um, we won't. We won't do that. Although, I'll have to remember to use that though. So, I mean, if I did it up to like 5 million. Again, Sabah Lobanzi. Love that name. He lobs hands. I mean, is that his asking price? Or is he. He's genuinely valued at that. Okay. 
They might want to offer him a new contract if they're on losing. <laughs> That's pennies for what he's worth. A quarter. You can get him for a quarter of his value, pretty much. Let's have a look at the listed. But the thing is, like I said, if I go for the big players, they're going to want a good wage, and you know I can only afford sixty grand. I mean, you can. I mean, if there's a, there is a decent player there, I could also always um, put in three point eight million and then try and pay in monthly instalments for the additional years. That sometimes works. So Tomney would be interested in a transfer, and I'm sure he's good on here. Robbie we'll Holding, Pereira, Mustafi. I'm gonna try cheeky. I reckon Tomney. I can't scout him in time, but I reckon he'll be a decent player. So he's worth 16, right? So what if I offer to pay 3.8? And then, with instalments, 12 monthly, pop this up to that be? 12.5 million in instalments. What would they say? Let's have a look. Just curious to see if they first would accept that offer. Because he's obviously transfer listed and they will get that money. They just have to wait in instalments. But whether that would come into effect or not. The Oxy wouldn't be interested. But Tommy though, if I did get him, what sort of wage would we want? 61 grand. We might be able to just talk him down just to get under the 60 mark. But then I don't know if this will work because they normally want to sign an on fee which normally comes out of your transfer budget. So I don't think this would actually... I don't think we've got enough money to actually complete this deal. Arsh! Let's try anyway. We've got nothing to lose. So, I would want 5.7 up front, which I don't have. I can only offer you 3.8 up front. See, the asking price is 18. That's gone up, isn't it? I'm sure that was less than a minute ago. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> Four hours to go as well. Probably run in a bit thin on time. Yeah, again, look, they're coming back with negotiations. They're being fair in that sense. They still only want 18 million, but they want 6 million, 6.7 million up front, and 11.5 in installments. But obviously, I can't do that because I don't have 6.7 million up front. But I could ask the board, as this would be an important transfer. But. Nah, don't want to. I don't think I need to. But we've got good sentiments, and like I said, we've got Gwenduzi coming in, in the summer, so. Yeah. yeah, we don't need him. We do not need him. Leopold could leave. No. No, he's not. He could, but he's not.
pretty much it for the uh, transfer window. I think we're about to hit the end of that. On deadline day, I don't think we're going to be doing any business. Yeah, look, there it goes. It's passed. So, wage expenditure. We're sitting 14th in the Bundesliga, which is quite respectable. We're not overspending. But look at Bayern Munich's wage, Bill. 3.8 million. Dortmund's 2.2. And in Leipzig. And Leverkusen on 1.4. Yeah, Monte Gladbach. We're just below that as well. <laughs> so, Dortmund were very busy. Biggest spenders, most active. And they brought in Van Houston and Per Skiers from Standard Liaison Ajax. Very nice, very nice. I don't mind attending press conferences, but it, it sometimes just gets too much, I think. So next game is Mainz away in the cup. Another tricky match. Transfer deadline. Yeah, let's just double check we've got everything everyone registered. Obviously we've just lined out players so we don't worry about them yeah I'm happy with that and then financial update we're in the minus but that's because we've spent this month in the transfer window so probably why that's probably gone down to be fair <laughs> so remember how we play against mains I know at Dortmund I'm definitely going to be putting a defensive mould in our shape We are playing Geek and Press, but I'm, I'm even tempted to go back to the old tactical route one and just hopefully <laughs> sit back, soak up pressure, and uh, well, ideally hit him on a counter. That'd be nice. So, that, how does the squad look? A lot of filler now. Yeah, I like. I don't see the point of viewing the players on loan. You might as well hide them. So yeah, our squad looks thinner now. Chujak. Do I need him on the bench? But yeah, let's put him off for Wilshire. He's probably got more to him. No, don't get me wrong, I like Wilshire, but he seems to be putting in better performances. Let's play our next game. We've got old mines, old uh, Jurgen Klopp's old team, wasn't it? Old Jurgen D. Klopp. Good old Jurgen. Yeah, he's super angry at the moment, though, with uh, the way that our uh, Liverpool Liverpool are performing right now. He's a he's not a happy bunny. Premier League, as expected, spent the most, and Chelsea spent 205 million. Wow. Um, well, I did try. I knew you'd come back and whinge. Being a dick. Anders. What promise? Well, I didn't promise to loan you out. You're 17. I don't remember having that chat. Come on. 
people. <laughs> Stop being so angry all the time. We've got a good spirit going at the moment, so let's not the, let the actions of a couple of players fuck things up. Win this, which would be very nice. But like I said, we we were just aiming to get to round three, so we've achieved that at least. So if things go south, at least the board can't moan because we've reached their target of round three. And at the moment, we're doing pretty well in their league expectations as well. They want us to brave uh, battle bravely, shall I say? With relegation, and uh, we are currently 10th, I think. Just double check. 10th, yeah, look. 25 points. And then by Libby Cushion, I've got 18. So we've got a you know a 7 point cushion from even being sucked into a relegation battle, really. So pick up a few more wins here and there. It will go very well, very well. More time to keep camera, I promise. Well, yeah, I did offer you out, so not for a fight. <laughs> I offered him out on transfer. All right, here we go then. We got mains. They were sixth in the Bundesliga. Defensive cautious, yeah, I don't think we need to be overly defensive. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go. I'm gonna... Do I put Dan Juma back on the bench? In his first game, he was exceptional. He scored two goals in his debut. In his second game, he was good but didn't really create any chances but then again we were playing Munch and Gladbach you know what I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and let him have another game because why not eh why not Van Drongelen he's got a lot of potential to add four stars ok here we go Mainz versus Hamburger in the third round of the DFB Poker. Pokal, not Poker. <laughs> I knew what I meant. <laughs> right, pump the fists. Go out there and show the world you've got what it takes. That's a good bit of motivation. I expect to see quality finishing out there, come on. Riso, you got a hat-trick like two games ago, so I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Ben Davies is the uh, captain for this game. He's a natural leader. <coughs> Coming in. Ten minutes gone. We've had two shots. Now we've got a corner. In it goes. Oh, we've rattled the crossbar. Oh, and Maurizio. Maurizio? Who's Maurizio? Maurizio. Makes it 1 0. We won it up in the cup. After, well, yeah, ten minutes, on the tenth minute. Yatta hits the rattles across by and then Arizzo just taps it in at the back post. 1 0 up in the cup. The winners go on to the quarter final. Go on, Yatta. To Mendez finds a Nana. Yatta. Funny ball, but anyway. Maya heads in and hits Smith. Yatta plays the ball forward to Arizzo. Shoots! Hits the bar. So close. 20 minutes gone. We've got a throw on, so it's Leobold to Danjuma. Vasiliados. Yatta. Back to Vasiliados. And now it's Davies. Smith gives away to Eyeball. Eyeball. Eyeball, I think. 
Uh, Saliba wins a good header. Danjuma finds a Nana. Mendes plays over the top and Zenta is going to be picking that one up all day, I think. Well, that's a long ball over the top. And that's a great goal, but he's offside. Well, he's going to VAR. He was offside. Yeah, good decision. But that finish from Abbas. Oh. Unlucky. <laughs> I will say unlucky to that. That was a good finish. So half hour gone. We're still leading. We're doing alright. We're doing alright, guys. We're doing alright. Dan Juma finds Mendes to leave old. Anana finds Vasiliados. <clears throat> Mendes plays out to Smith, who's bombing forward down to the right of the box. Looks for a cross, pulls it back. And Anana was that smacks it wide. There's a real chance there to test the goalkeeper. So we've got to half time by the looks of things. And uh, yeah. Mains have yet to register a shot on target. We've had nine shots with five on target, and obviously scoring one with Matthias Arizzo. Now we're playing really well, I, I feel. So hopefully we'll see more in the second half and tell them that I'm delighted with their performance so far. It'd be nice to get a win as well in the cup before we play Dortmund. At least, uh, you know, it'll give a nice confidence boost going into the Dortmund match, which we will be going defensive. We have to, don't we? Surely. Surely. Oh, well, 20 minutes to go. <clears throat> Let's pause, 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 pause. Um, we're going to make some changes. See, Dungeon is having another decent game. He's uh, with a 7.10. But I will pop him off for Kittel. Um, anyone playing poor? No one playing poor, but Nana's has had a few chances, which could have done better so Pearson's gonna come on for him and to road our trusty six foot four beast is going up front for Arizzo with quarter of an hour to go hopefully the changes don't unsettle the team so I'm gonna give a little shout out and encourage we're still playing cautious which is good now we're gonna go very defensive for two minutes to go plus stoppage it's gonna be free added on And there's the final whistle. We're in the quarterfinals. We beat Mainz 1-0 in round three. So we've ex exceeded the board's expectations in the, F in the cup. <laughs> FA Cup, I was going to say. In the German DFB Pokal Cup. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. As you would be. Lemus was spotted. So he's a Uruguay boss. Yeah, I think Rizzo has been playing really well. 12 goals in 20 games. I should probably start thinking about bringing him into the squad. <laughs> We've received, that's good, 641k for that match. That's really good. So we're in to the quarterfinals now. Do you have, can you go all the way to win it? But as long as you're still in it, you've got a chance, right? Fail to help continues. You must be blighted. Brilliant. Saliba had a great game. I wouldn't even swap him for Jules Conde. No, I wouldn't, because I don't really know who he is. <laughs> who do you want in the draw? Ingolstadt, I think. Why them in particular? They represent the sort of challenge that we want at this stage. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> it's not too demeaning, is it? Yeah, look, Lemus is keeping an eye on Arizzo. The Uruguay squad, and he definitely deserves a call up, hundred percent. So Bayern beat Dortmund, Hoffenheim beat Augsburg, and we're not going to get Ingolstadt because Bruce Mönchengladbach back beat them. That's a shame. But here's the draw. Let's have a look. And it's all Bundesliga teams now, so it's going to be a hard match regardless. So we're at home to Wolfsburg, who I believe are bottom of the league. So not bad, actually. I'm happy with that. Munch and Gladbach have Perfa Berlin. 
Stuttgart have Bayern Munich and Hoffenheim have Freiburg. Yeah, 18th in the league. Yeah, I'm happy with that then. Yeah. Out of all the teams to choose, you would choose them. Obviously, if there was like a Bundesliga 2 team, I would have taken them, but you know, they're bottom of this league, so all the teams that were left were all Bundesliga teams, so yeah. We take that. <laughs> uh, next up is Dortmund, which is the uh, tricky one. So, uh, I know that I'm going to have to go super defensive for this one. You know what? I might even set the tactics up as defensive now because it might give them that extra bit of training. I might be completely wrong, but it might give him that extra bit of training. So Mendes, Pearson, Vasiliados has unfortunately got himself um, suspended for this game, which isn't isn't ideal. Um, let's put Juziak there, and then Juziak for Jackie Walsha, and then change that to very defensive because we got Dortmund next. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm just about to put a BRB screen up. I'm going to get myself another little drink and I will be right back. Okie dokie, we are back. Give us a little bit, a little bit of praise. Uh, Leipzig beat Frankfurt there. But we're, we're doing alright, like I said we're 10th. Obviously we've got Dortmund next, so... Boy, oh, not overly confident in that one. I should be. No, I shouldn't be actually, it's Dortmund. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. You don't know what you're chatting about. What do I do? No, you don't. Shut up, Steve. First time in Sanity, innit? Talking to yourself. What's wrong with you, boy? Uh, anyway. So, we've got a clash against Dortmund. So, we did actually draw the last game. Um, at the West Parkham Stadium. So, um, now we're at home, and if we put in another good performance, um, Ben Pearson, ooh. I've just put him in the squad, haven't I? That's all I wanted. A few injuries before the big game. It's flu. Come on, just take a lem sip. You'll be right. Should be able to go then. We take on fifth place Dortmund, so they're not doing exceptionally well. They're obviously sitting in fifth place, so we've got a chance. 
We're only five points behind them. No. Five places, not points. If we were five points behind them, we'd probably be sixth. Maybe seventh. Oh, I don't know. Well, I think you know what I mean. Well, I reckon. I reckon you know what I mean. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm on about. Oh, you know, you've dropped down to 12. So I win. 28. 28 points. But take us. 8. 8. Not bad. Not bad. We would be 8 points behind Dortmund. Not 5 points. 8. So we get a nil, Pearson. Like I said, just take the sip. You'll be alright. Why don't you get going? You'll be alright. Seriously, come on. But uh, yeah, if you are just joining us in the stream, we've had a pretty decent stream so far. We started off against the Hanover. So we uh, won 3-2. And then we beat Augsburg 6-1, which was a shocker. And then we lost to Moshe Gladbach. They were fourth in the league, so they're doing pretty well. And we just beat Mainz in the DFL Pokal third round, so that means we're in the quarterfinals. And we got Werder, no we haven't, we got Wolfsburg in the next round. Not bad. Talking about Bird, I was going to say Werder Bremen. Where are they? 13. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I don't know why I just thought Bird Women. <laughs> Pearson resumes light training. Okay, good. Oh, we've got 50 plus scout reports to just spam through. Oops, what today, Lee? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. 30 to go, 30 to go, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Come on. My hand's not hurting yet, come on, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh, I don't want to sign him. <laughs> come on, nearly there, nearly there. Whew, we made it. Fitness test of Amici and Ben Pearson, so condition, excellent. <laughs> I think he'll be alright, to be fair. Yeah, he'll be alright. He'll be alright. <coughs> yeah, I think you'd do all right, to be honest. Uh, so here we go. Tough game against Dortmund. So like I said, if we win, we can go eight. We've got the game in hand. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whew. No, they want to go push. I want to be really defensive because I just want to stop Dortmund getting any chances, really. And if I can just sit on a nil-nil, then so be it. But <laughs> that's all I want to achieve is just a point against this. Re I, you know, realistically, ideally, sneak a win, great. But if things are going well, then I might go to our geek and breasts. But uh, we're not going to know until we start playing. So let's. Have a look. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop Harland. He's obviously the danger man. Here we go then. Have we got a chance? We start with a throw on. And just coming up with six minute. Smith to Pearson. And Nana back to Pearson. He's got the flu. Hopefully he's alright. <laughs> Dan Juma, the new boy. Oh, good tackle. I was waiting to see the ref save VAR, because I know what he's like. But now Dortmund joined the attack with Haaland to Emre Can. Van Houston, their new signing. Oh, he's got past Saliba and he smacked it in on his debut? No, his first ever goal. Oh, man. <laughs> their first attack and we're one nil down. Oh, then let's uh, keep the belief. Let's keep the belief. 
We was up in an attacking area, so weren't too bad. Now Royce with the corner for Dortmund. In he goes, and it's a wave. And Pearson is lo looking to bring it out. Plays it long, he looks offside. But it's a Rizzo. He is offside. Yeah, the flag's up. I thought he was. Like I said, we did get a draw against these last time. We were winning throughout the whole game. And uh, they got a penalty in the 89th minute when we played Dortmund at their place. Otherwise, we would have had three points against them. But they uh, they, they were sneaked to draw, really. 89th minute penalty. That was harsh. That was super harsh. Anyway, here they come again on the attack. It finds Holland. And luckily, the keeper was there and somehow gets a goal kick. Shot wise, we've had two and they've had two. So we've uh, frustrated them. And um, unlucky, I don't think we've actually played too bad. But uh, what I'm going to do is probably play to like the 65th minute as it is. Then I might shock them. Go geek and press. They might not expect it. But saying that, they're pretty good. Score two goals now. By then, uh, Ferres looking to cross it in, I believe. And he gets it in, and Holland misses. Wow, well, I thought that went in. I honestly thought that went in. Bit of encouragement. Steve Burns encouraging his players from the touchline. Oh, I've missed my chance to make the change. Here we go. Then. We're gonna go. You know, we're gonna attack him. You know what? Uh, Pearson, you can come off now. And Mendes, you're gonna come on. Kittel or Yatta. That'll do for now, I think. It might not make a big difference, but we're not doing too bad, like I said. It is Dortmund after all. But we're going to try attack now. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but look at that. The player's bursting forward. But Musso picks that up for Danjuma to get there. He boots it upfield. Harlan surely wins that the size of the guy. Dan Juma managed to win the ball back and just boost it for but Rizzo. One on one with Muzo. And the keeper makes a great save to be fair. That was a chance. Big chance. So close, so close. Kitel the corner and he goes. Headed away by Hummels. Mendes the substitute loses out to Jude Bellingham. Sancho picks up his pass and then that's it. The whole lot in. Ten minutes to go, right? Um, have I got anything else up my sleeve? I don't know if I have. Um, Davies finds Smith. Here is Kittel. I'd love to get an equalizer in the 89th minute, like they did to us in the first match. But, uh, we need to get possession for that to happen. Oh, that's it. Well done, Kittel. Oh, lucky. So, so close. We're going to serve the corner though. Do I go for it? Put another forward on. We're going to go for it. We're going to put another forward on. Juziak for Tarod. And we're going to make him target, man. Attacking. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so we've got corner. Eight minutes to go. Seven and a half. Tarod has just come on for Juziak. And Kittel is looking to cross the ball. Oh, we're not even going to see that one. <laughs> Another little shout. Come on, come on. Uh, fire up. Let's fire up. Come on, let's get that equaliser. No. It's not to be, is it? <sighs> we lost that one. We didn't play too bad. We had five shots, they had eight. We had three on target, they had four. I don't think we did too bad. Um... Yeah, I can't fault you guys for that. It was actually unlucky. Yeah, we did expect a heavy defeat, so only lose 1-0. It's alright, it's alright. Can't be too sad about that, I suppose. <laughs> Tarot fouls to end his goal drill. That's good. But we've got a, a Rizzo, so... I'm not overly concerned if you don't. <laughs> as long as the Ritzo gets them the goals. Yeah. Obviously that didn't quite go to plan. So now 
I'm going to flick it back to that and then have Pearson for Mendes. And that is our Gigan Press. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. We only lost 1 0. Sitting 12th. Six points from the relegation area. And then we've got a few matches up in our Cologne, Stuttgart, and Freiburg. Which aren't too bad fixtures on paper. But it's not Dortmund, is it? <laughs> Rizzo gets his wage hike, he's now on 11.2 grand per week. Nice. Lucky lad. Lucky lad. <laughs> I think I'm probably like expecting to be doing more than I should be. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like I think I should be winning games. That I know I shouldn't be winning realistically you know I should remember that my expectations is to battle bravely against relegation and at the moment we're achieving that so I should really look at it that way and think actually you're doing all right you're doing all right and you know we've managed to get to the quarterfinals of the cup we was only expected to get round three and we're hardly battling bravely against relegation are we we're we're closer to the uh, playoffs, not playoffs, the European spots, than we are relegation, so. I'll say that, just double check. Seven points. Alright. Maybe just off, but last game, before that loss, we were. We were close to being seventh, so we're doing alright, you know. Especially as, like, the Bundesliga is the third best rated league in the world. And if anyone gets a chance to watch my YouTube series, the link on my channel. Denmark is the number one competition in the world in the year 2200, so that's 180 years from now. I've been just doing a little video of watching uh, how the all the major European competitions and the World Cup and the Euro Championships all pan out every 20 years. I've done nine episodes so far, and uh, the next one is my 10th episode, but that's going to be the last, that's 200 years. And uh, it's interesting to see so what, what teams are actually winning the Champions League. I think Southampton have won it. Brighton have won the Champions League. The teams that won a Euro Cup are like names I can't even pronounce. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting, actually. So uh, next up is FC Cologne, another away trip, so could be a tricky one, <laughs> could be a tricky one. Cologne Oh wait, let's bring it on Come on, come on in Let's, let's do this Hey Chaotic Steven mate, how you doing? How's it going? You still in the league or did you get relegated? No, we're still in it at the moment So uh, after 21 games we're sitting 12th uh, We've uh, had a fair few uh, decent victories actually Since the start of the stream I started here with Hanover we won 3-2, <laughs> and then we won 6-1, then we lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach 3-1, and then we won this cup game 1-0 against Mainz, so now we're in the quarterfinals of the German Cup, but we've just lost Dortmund 1-0, and next up is FC Cologne, so it's not going too bad, considering the board are expecting us to bravely fight against relegation. It's, it's going alright, yeah, but cheers for popping in, mate. How's it going your end? You all good? <laughs> oh, Sleeper. He's doing right. He's having a good, good loaning spell for, for us at the moment. What about the buying game? Bear with me. I'm just doing a quick save. 
Oh, good, you're in. That's good, mate. That's good. Did you manage to fit any streams today? By Munich, we played there. Yeah, we only lost 1 0, which isn't too bad considering it's Bayern Munich. Expect to get smashed by them. But yeah, yeah we lost 1 0 to Bayern. And then, yeah, we lost 1 0 to Dortmund. And then, yeah, we don't have Bayern for another. What, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 games. So, yeah, we've got a while before we play them again. But as long as we're not getting smashed, <laughs> I'm happy. Like I said, I'm not expecting to win any trophies in this season. Just to stay up in this league for the first season is good enough. Then it'll give us some more money to buy some new players. Some uh, better players, hopefully. Hamburger chairman rubbishes talk of a takeover. That'd be good if we had a takeover. They might pump loads of money in. But I do have a couple of players coming in. No, one player, Gwen Doozy from Arsenal. We managed to get him in on a free. Um, but he won't be joining until the summer. So we'll be now with February at the moment. So yeah, we've still got to wait the rest of the season before we can actually play him. But uh, here we go. Yeah, FC Cologne, Dan Juma is in. So I've put Kittel back on. He's normally our player that plays on the left wing. But Kitt Dan Juma, we signed and he scored two on his debut. So I didn't want to drop him. Vasily Ardos can come back now for Juziak. And Leobold to leave with David Smith, yep. Anana, Vasily Ardos, Mendes, Kittel, Yatta, and Arizzo. Wouldn't it be nice to have money pumped in? <laughs> yeah, it really would. Be a Man City of Germany. <laughs> now, to be fair, Bayern Munich are the Man City of Germany. In terms of how much money they've got. But then again, I don't think Bayern Munich had a cash injection they've just earned their money from actual successes and that really right let's see how we get on in this game So they're obviously seventh. So they're a few points ahead of us, so they're obviously playing pretty well to be seventh at the moment, but let's just see how we get on really. So we've got 20 minutes gone, there's no been, been no highlights at the moment. Which isn't always a bad thing. <laughs> at least we're not <laughs> conceding. I'm gonna give them a little bit of encouragement though if I can. They're, they're all happy faces at the moment, so. Hopefully, morale's good. All right, they've changed now, but and it looks like they're on the attack. So Limios Duda Mendes clears it to Hector. Oh, when Anderson, oh, <laughs> keep makes a good save, low down to his right. Duda with the corner, in it goes, headed away. Mendes to pick up the loose ball. Oh, can we counter this? Come on. Tackle. So we've got to half time. We're still nil nil, which isn't too bad. I'm going to change from now from cautious to positive, so that means they're a bit more up for it in terms of attacking. So because we've only had one shot in that first half, which to be honest isn't great, but I'm happy because yeah, we've not been terrible. We just need to do a bit more with producing chances. So let's see how that one goes. Let's go a bit more direct with the passing as well. Uh, give a shout out and fire the boys up. Uh, Kittel can come off now. Oh, good game. Four. I don't know. Actually, Jack Wilshire. Let's pressure him into making mistakes. Come on, boys. 
Oh, long boy over the top to do that. Oh, he's at the post. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> the tag said he looks disgusted with himself. <laughs> oh, maybe laugh. Don't know why. Caught him an hour to go. Right, hang on. What can we do? We've only had one shot. We're not really producing a lot of chances here. I'm going to bring off a Ritzo then for Tarode. And who's not playing well? Mendes isn't playing great. No, actually, I've got an idea. Yatta, 6.2, he's been playing worse, 6.2, so I'm going to bring him off for, for Amici. Right, quarter of an hour to go. Let's pump him up again. Draw won't be terrible. That won't be too bad. And it is. It's a nil-nil ball draw. Where we only registered three shots with two on target. But yeah, we didn't lose. We was away. So, yeah, I think you can take that as a success. We weren't favourites to win it either, well. So, to get a point away. Yeah. Got to be happy with that. Oh no, Kittel's injured himself. Ah, that's fine. Only for three days. <laughs> Another draw, yeah. Especially at the start of the season. With the yellow ones. We started the season with that many draws. Five. Yeah. A lot of draws, and then obviously we've got a big gap here with just wins and losses. But yeah, this adds to that big old collection up here. Yeah, look, I think we've drawn the most in the oh no, Werder Bremen have drawn more 11, but yeah, we've drawn eight games, yeah, which is still a lot. <laughs> hey, great roping man, how you doing, dude? How's it going, mate? How's life treating ya? <laughs> We're doing alright at the moment. Great Ropey, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, you saw us got promoted, I think, last time. Um, we are currently 11th. We have 26 points. <laughs> so, what, we're 7 points away from relegation zone. Well, they've got game in hand. But, uh, yeah, it's not gone too bad. We uh, managed to pick up couple of good wins in the stream. I started the stream with Hanover, we won 3-2 and then we managed to beat Augsburg 6-1 before losing to Moch and Gladbach. We're in the quarterfinals of the cup now and then we've just lost to Dortmund 1-0 and uh, Cologne, we've just literally just drew 0-0 and then next up is uh, Stuttgart. So uh, yeah it's not been going too bad, and I've got um, someone coming in next summer, which I've been an Arsenal fan, I'm quite pleased with. Matteo Guendouzi on a free. His contract was uh, expiring, put in a cheeky bid for a contract, and uh, yeah, looks like he will be joining in the summer. I think at the moment is by Leverkusen you know, sitting in the relegation zone with 19 points. Especially as they're the third largest team with the wage bill, I think, joint with Le Leipzig. Hmm. Looking decent, I see. Yeah, it's, it's going relatively all right. And like I said, we we're expected to fight relegation and we're sitting 11 at the moment, so yeah, quite happy with that. And yeah, Guedouzi on a free is actually great, man. Yeah, I was, I was actually surprised he wanted to talk to us actually to actually, you know, end some negotiations. But he was happy to do it and managed to offer him a contract. And he was like, "Yeah, I'll join." I was like, "Brilliant!" Obviously, like I said, we can't play him this year, but start of uh, next season and season three, we'll have a nice little centre mid there. Uh, how's the old season going for you, uh, Great Ropey? Ropey. 
remember I got you last week and you were you won the Champions League in extra time if I'm not mistaken Also, actually, I'll show you another player. I uh, managed to bring in in the January transfer window. It was this guy, Arnout Danjuma from Bournemouth. 4.1 million. Played him on his debut uh, and he got two goals in that 6 1 win. Mendes, I think I had in the last stream. Yeah, Rizzo. All the rest I had. In the uh, in the older streams, but I've actually offloaded a lot of players as well because we had too many players moaning about <laughs> playing time, and I just had a large squad. I wanted to trim it, so I've loaned out Poku, Wagnerman, and King Zombie. Bruma, we've sold, even though we got him on a free, but I sold him for 775k mainly because his buyout clause was activated and he wanted to leave. And uh, we sold Bates, Gideon Young, and Hayer. And yeah, Yanger and Beer as well, so just trying to get a bit of extra cash really. Do well in the league, so not as good as last year, but still leading. Go for Champions League against Man United will be an interesting match. That will be interesting, yeah. Hopefully, uh, you smash them. <laughs> not as good as last year, but still leading. Yeah, but look, if you're still top, that's the main thing, isn't it? As long as you're. You do it. What's the board expected from you? They're expecting you to win the league now. Now that you've been doing well, you know, are their expectations really high? All back to the moment. Put in a man of the match performance. Good. What we like to see. Players playing well. Yeah, I've not remembered. No, I have remembered, shall I say. To keep Fagnerman. I've only loaned him out. You sold seven centre backs. I did. <laughs> but I did bring in Ben Davies. Uh, where's Saliba gone? Oh, I know why. It's because I'm click that isn't it but we do have a bunch of centre backs still we've got Ben Davis, Saliba on loan Ambrosius, Van Drongelen Gamera can play there and so can, can Zombie I know can Zombie's loaned out but I felt that was enough considering I only normally play two at a time but I thought I might as well get rid of a lot of them <laughs> yeah obviously Bruma yeah Bagnerman but he's full back but yeah they just kept moaning too much that they wanted um, game time and someone said oh, look I'll offer you on loan and they're like no that's not good enough I want to play first time or leave first team football or leave so I was like oh okay I'm not playing you because I've got better choices at the moment so yeah those ones I sold and some were okay with being loaned out so yeah I've still got yeah still, I've got a few to come back as well so and obviously Saliba's only alone, but come the summer, I'll hopefully be able to reevaluate the squad and see who's who really. Well, I just can keep scouting through this. Well, we've got 20 left. Come on. <laughs> Give me a handache. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Done. Right. Oh, last one typical. Raid! Dan Tacker, you are a legend, sir. Thanks for the raid. How's everyone doing? Shadow Dawn, Double A Battery, Guvu, KRP2, hey! Stone Shiba, legends. Thanks, Dan. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you very much. 
How are we all doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing alright, mate. Um, I'll just quickly pop over to my stream, uh, stream fixtures. This is a how we've started this particular episode. I started here with Hanover. KRP2, thank you very much for the follow, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, we won 3-2, and then we had Augsburg, won 6-1. That was a nice victory, happy with that. And we're in the quarterfinals of the German Cup. And then we lost to Dortmund, and then just drew with FC Cologne. So, not going too bad. Also, thank you very much, Stone Cheaper, for the follow. Much appreciated, dude. Yeah, so how's everyone going, guys? Enjoying the raid? I love a raid. How'd, um, how'd your stream go, Dan? Pop knows how to win against mains. Oh no, who lost against mains? Yeah, in the DFB, we uh, yeah managed to squeeze a 1-0 win. Obviously, we lost in the league, but we managed to squeeze a little 1-0 win there. DT, don't read the title. <laughs> You're going to love the title. I don't know if you see it, Dan, but... <laughs> yeah. We haven't got him yet. We've, uh, we've got to wait until season three, but... We picked him up on a free. It went well overall. Covered against mains in the DFB, but 1860 in a good place. Nice. That's good to hear, dude. Very, very good to hear. So he lost like three one to them in the third round. Oh, on a free, yeah, man. Honestly, I, I was quite surprised. His contract was running up, and uh, I could approach him and go, "You can join us on a free join." And I was expecting him to say, "I had no interest in joining your club." Clicked on it. He's like, "Yeah, I want this much," and I had that in my wage budget. I was like, "Fuck yeah, bring you, bringing you to Hamburg." So hopefully, I've still got the top come season three. But at the moment, can't see why not. We're eleventh doing all right we're doing all right it's going pretty well Hamburg for Europe next season how many points are away for eight points from seventh maybe <laughs> probably not but we're doing all right I'm happy with how it's going but you never know you never know and uh, the only other thing I think I've done since you guys last watched was bring in this guy on out Dan Juma another Dan <laughs> uh, from Bournemouth for 4.1 million so not too bad not too bad uh, on his debut we played him and he scored two goals in that 6-1 victory very nice alright then so we're about to play Stuttgart at home <laughs> Wish I had 4.1 million to spend. <laughs> Suppose that's one of the cons of managing in the old Swiss league. How is how's it going with old grasshoppers? Shadow Dawn. <laughs> Big up the Dans. The old Dans. Libra's playing pretty well for us on loan. It's been a few decent performances and the old training is looking pretty good. How's uh, everyone's Friday nights going then? KLP2 says... I'm managing Gillingham at the moment. 4.1 million is a pipe dream. <laughs> I can imagine that, to be fair. How's that going? KRP? The old Gillingham save. Have you been playing that one long? Like seasons? A few seasons in or anything? Or I don't mind the jewels, actually. I don't mind them.
It's been a good week. It's good to hit then. Good to hit me. Yeah. Yeah, my point's been alright actually. Got no complaints. <laughs> Third season, 10th in League One. Not too bad then. Not too bad, dude. So you're managing in the Swiss League where you had to take an 8 million loan to survive and the stupid Chinese owners that own Wolves. I do remember you saying about Wolves actually. They don't give you any money. It's going great, but and above Basel and Young Boys, close to the top of the league, like 12 games left in the league. Could win the toll, but I think it's at the point. Europe is our aim in the semis of the Swiss Cup also. It's going well then. That's going pretty well. Shadow Dawn. That's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. Uh, right, so Stuttgart. Yeah, I think we should go positive, to be fair. We're only <laughs> one position beneath them. Only in the first season after promotion, also. Oh, I didn't realise that Grasshoppers were in a league below. Oh, wicked, man. So it's going exceptionally well. Should I say? I should rephrase. It's going exceptionally well. <laughs> Alright, Dennis. Let's see how we get on here. So I've got my best squad out. Leobold to leave a Dave Smith. Yep. We've still got the Lord. <laughs> no one wanted him yet. Yeah, like Fallen Giants. Yeah, to be fair, Grasshoppers, I remember them being a. Well, you could, well, I say a major team, you know, there was always a team that you'd heard of in Europe. <laughs> Running Grasshoppers on a shoestring. <laughs> Benton has disappeared on your game. Oh, man, what, really? I might have to offer him a new contract then, just to keep him in the game. He's got staff attributes. I might even just give him a job as a. A scout, look. Great numbers, look. Seven and a seven. The Lord knows his shit. Jack the wheelchair. Wheelchair. <laughs> Any good on this save? I managed to pick him up when we was in Bundesliga 2. Obviously on a free. And he was a key part of that squad. He was playing consistently in the centre of the park. But in the Bundesliga, he's not quite the same player. I've managed to bring in this guy, Vasiliados who's a Greek guy. He seems to be playing better, and Anana seems to be also be playing better than him, and I've picked up Ben Pearson, who's rated better than him. But I'll show you him, actually. If I go to report, according to um, our assistant manager, Jack Walsh will be the fifth best player in the centre mids. Yeah, behind Mendes, Vasiliados, Pearson, Jusiak, and then, yeah, there sits Walsh in fifth place. But he, he actually, actually picked up a few injuries as well. No surprise there, right? <laughs> oh, Jack Wilshere. Yeah. What? Let's do this one. Actually, what I am doing. I will probably be making this my last game, sadly. But... I will definitely try a raid. I'm going to raid someone after this. We've still got a bunch of numbers. Because I've never done a raid. So in my right thinking, you just type raid. And then is it forward slash the person's name or something like that? Looks like a great midfield you've there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, the midfield's been performing pretty well, actually. I haven't really got any complaints there. The defence is doing all right. Like I said, we're supposed to be avoiding relegation. So we're sitting mid-table not going too bad and we've brought in um, a Rizzo it's a Uruguayan wonder kid um, sorry mate where was I, where was I? I got, <laughs> my mind went blank then yeah we're talking about midfield let's quickly pop back to the the old screen yeah Nana is pretty decent for our level you know once we pick up performances and hopefully we improve, then you know, these players can be replaced. Vasiliados, who was another guy that got on a free, I was pretty happy with some of his mental tactics. You know, I was looking for a, a tough tackling kind of midfielder, and he seems to fit that bill with aggression, you know, like determination and bravery and all that. Work great. 
<laughs> I've been through like three streams in a row through raids. This will be the fourth. <laughs> I'm just curious to try it. I've never actually done a raid before. <laughs> so type raid slash raid then the person's name. Cool. I'm gonna try that after this game. But I really appreciate you guys coming in through the raid. Oh, Masios is through. Oh, good save all week. Oh, Tommy. Tommy with an H. In it goes. Keeper saves. FM community is all about sharing the love. It is, isn't it? <laughs> One Maltz here. Thank you very much for the uh, follow, mate. I really appreciate that. I really do, mate. It is really about the community. Last time, after I finished the stream that you raided me last time, I was sat and thought afterwards, like, I should have raided someone else. I felt bad. I was like, I've just, like, ended it, ended the raid. You know, the party, and it all just dispersed. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Tommy with an H. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Kingsley Schindler. Makes it 1 0 to Stuttgart. Yeah, so slash raid and then the person's name. Cool. I'm gonna have a, I'll have a quick look at the uh, who's online for the football manager bit. Send them a little raid. I'll stick by it actually. When I move the raid over, I'm not gonna leave straight away. We're going to say hello. Come on, lads, show a bit of desire. <laughs> so why you didn't know? Yeah, like I said, it was, it was quite new to me when it, I got raided. I was like, what? What is a raid? <laughs> oh, Tommy with an H. It's the post. I might actually rename him. Tommy with an H. Go on, Kittel. Good cross. Let's get it in. Get in. Anana. Lad. I was just about the sub Kittel. Well, in about 60 minutes. For... Um, Dan Juma. Oh no, I didn't put him on the bench. Shit. Never mind. I won't be subbing him. Yatta's not playing well. Let's bring him off. Or Amici. Guna. Come on, pressure him, pressure him. Oh. Good job he was there. I think he was going wide. But good positioning. Good positioning. Come on, lads. Go on, Spear. Put in a good cross. Oh. Nah, it's not going to be a penalty. That was outside the box. As much as I'd love it to be a penalty, that was definitely outside the box. I'll be very shocked if he gives it, to be fair. No penalty. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Let's give a little shout out. Come on, boys. Let's fire them up. Although we've got the free kick highlight, so. <laughs> or not. <laughs> that was pointless. Oh, I'm going to make a couple of changes, I think. A couple of players having a bit of a rough time. You can tell he yeah, He's got a poor condition, so I will bring him off for Jackie Wheelchair. Who else is playing for? Leobold. Mm. Mendes. Or Rizzo. Let's bring off a Rizzo for Vince Heimer. I brought him to road for about 10 games in a row and he just can't find the net. With 10 minutes to go, let's see if uh, Vince Heimer can. <laughs> go on, let's pressure him. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, Jackie Wheelchair. <laughs> yes. Do you hear about him, um, Jack Wheelchair? He's uh, signed for Bournemouth until the end of the year. Oh, go on, Amici. Oh, so close. Yeah, I think it's, it's like a, what, six month deal? Yeah, until the end of the season. Shout out. Come on, quick fire up. Nah, we haven't got time. Ah, a draw. Not bad. <laughs> oh, sick note. It's funny you say that, Dan. I was looking at him earlier, I was really tempted to rename him as Sick Note. 
those literal words. <laughs> draw? Yeah, I suppose. Not too bad. Considering the s stats, I think they... I think when I last checked, I think they was on top. But... Yeah, we'll take a draw. We'll take a draw. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. So we're 11th. So 27 points. We're eight points from being sucked in. Although they've got a gaming ad, sucked into the relegation battle. That's good. That's not too bad. And yeah, we're only what six points from FC Cologne, which is seventh, which is a sport in Europe. Not going too bad. Who was the original original sick note? Always injured. Shame. Spurs player. Um. Oh, um, the old centre back, Ledley King. Maybe, Ledley King, maybe. The only guy to spend more time on injury to bench than Wilshire. Diaby, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> he was probably worse than Wilshire. The old sign from Pompey in 92. Ooh, we're going back. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I don't know if I know that one. Winger. Oh, um. Oh, hang on. Darren Anderton? Maybe? Darren Anderton? DA, yes, it is, isn't it? Darren Anderton. God, that goes back. That's, yeah, that's throwing back the years. <laughs> if it is him. <laughs> Darren Anderton. <laughs> that is a bloody. That's a flashback, mate. Yeah, I must admit, I do remember him just about playing football. Well, I say playing football. Had some games. But, yeah, Darren Anderson. <laughs> yes, so. Like I said, guys, really appreciate the raid. I'm now going to spread the joy to another streamer. So what do you guys normally do? Like, just look for someone who's playing footy manager and then just go for someone with low viewing numbers is that how this should really work in an ideal world you know I don't want to raid someone on here who's got 131 viewers that seems a bit pointless <laughs> all the best mate yeah you too well I'm going to do the raid but then I'm going to stay in the chat for a bit have a little chat with the person I raid and a few guys are still around but yeah I'm, I'm tempted to there's, there's a guy on here with one viewer Nick Biggles. Yeah, exactly, mate. Help everyone hit some targets. Inspector Gadget has sorted his mic a bit. Do you recommend Inspector Gadget? I think I spoke to him, actually, in one of your streams. I might do uh, Inspector Gadget, then. So I want to create a dashboard. I'm just going to pop over to there. I'm sure I can find it. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Community no content. We might well be acquainted, actually. Yeah, his name definitely rings a bell. Sorry, Dan. What, what am I going to? I'm on the uh, the uh, there. The create a dashboard. I just want to make sure I get it right. <laughs> I've copied his name on the mouse, so I can just paste his name in. Preferences, noop. Drops? No, it's not drops. Stream manager. Yep, so I'm on stream manager. Create dashboard stream manager raid channel.
two seconds. Yeah, just double checking his name, make sure I get it right. Get the raid hype going yet. <laughs> so yeah, just double check I'm doing this right. So four slash raid and then the username. All right, let's give this a go then. So then I'll just literally put that in my chat on this video. On my stream. Okay, so make sure when you raid, you end the stream your end, as it won't automatically. Cool. Right, okay. So I'm going to put in my chat. I'm just going to put full slash raid inspector gadget. And then I'll end the stream. And hopefully that will work. God, I hope it works. Raid. Inspector Gadget. Right, I think I'm good to go. Just literally about to hit send now, dude. Just double checking. I've got his name right. I don't want to spend it, spell it wrong. Raid channel. So pick a live channel to raid. Inspect a gadget. Oh, I think we're about to do it now. Start raid. And then I'm going to end. Here we go. Cheers for popping by anyway, guys. Ten radius, let's go. 